Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back for another fake Grand Order video. Uh, something I forgot to do like seven days ago, which was to look at <laughs> what's going on in April. Uh, but I'm here anyway, I mean, we're almost done through April. We're in the first week of April, it counts. I'm still in the opening week. <laughs> Whatever, there's only 30 days. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it if you do. Uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, tell me how you're going to be handling this month. This should be a pretty interesting month with all things considered. And subscribe to me if you want some more. So, this month is already starting off a little bit weird because they've... So, if you don't know, just to quickly sum up, because I feel like I've had to sum this up for a long time, NA is in a weird extended edition of the timeline because, as you can see here, Olympus released for Japan on April 9th, and that is not when we got it. We got, um, Olympus... Not Olympus. No, yeah, yeah. We got Olympus around... Am I dumb? There we go. In March. So, March 24th. So, much earlier than that. <laughs> and then the weirdest thing is that now we also have something else that JP did not get, which was the Olympus Summoning Campaign 3 where it was a part two chapter five conclusion. So originally after uh, our dude Kranis over here came up, I don't think there was another like um, banner for a while up until the, yeah, there was no banner for this. And so it wasn't until April uh, 29th when the 20 million download campaign started that we got a summoning campaign that had all these guys in it, see? Um, so they just decided to drop out of nowhere one with Drake, Raiko, Lancer, Alter, and Medea, which is really funny because actually Medea and um, Lancer, Alter are story locked, so they're actually very hard to get. So this is actually kind of tempting for some people if you're a big fan of uh, any of these characters, to be honest. Raiko has plenty of fans still, even though at this point Arjuna Alter is seen as the better berserker. That does not. Uh, stop people from wanting uh, Raiko. I want Raiko, which is why I haven't logged into the game <laughs> since the banner came out because <laughs> I know myself and I'm saving and I'm trying to save up for Castoria, so that's that's not going to happen. I already had Drake, so that's perfectly fine. And if you're someone who's actually so bad wanting Drake that you would risk it all to summon for her now, just wait for the free ticket. <laughs> so <laughs> probably don't summon on this if your main goal here is Drake. Though of the two ones in the back in the limited, actually Medea Lily's pretty nice to have during challenge quest because she has just crazy good healing and they need to buff my girl alter over here she just needs to be a little bit better from where she is it's a shame that they haven't done much with her ever since they introduced her. it's really weird everything about her introduction was weird but anyway for the rest of uh april uh let me go here obviously the big thing that's coming up is going to be the 20 million download campaign which should hopefully drop, let me see, when this band, this ended Olympus Summoning Campaign 2. Though, funny enough, I think the Olympus Summoning Campaign is here till the 13th. Okay, so if I were to take a wild guess here, um, I would say on the 13th is when we are getting uh, the 20 million download campaign. And that's the thing that features the free SSR ticket, which I've done a video talking about it, which you can feel free to look at that if you want to hear my thoughts about who to get and stuff like that, and I'll probably talk about it again, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> I'll be talking about it a lot because it's a big deal. Don't want to miss out on it. Though the thing that probably isn't talked about as much is that there is a summoning campaign that is with it, and it, it's pretty insane because it has Musashi, it has Gil, it has uh, Kintoki, it has uh, Brunhilder, it has Skahak, it has, uh, I was about to call her Arjuna Alter, Jean Arnold Alter, uh, Big Da Vinci, Ishtar. I think I already meant no Ishtar. Um, all characters that are very much uh, well liked and have fans. Uh, funny enough, I'm pretty sure this Da Vinci has. I've actually wanted this Da Vinci for the longest time and I've been hoping to get her randomly off of a ticket. Uh, the reason being is that I think she actually has an extremely important lore dump about the process of going between the Lost Belt version of her, I guess to be as not- oh well, at this point everyone knows. Da Vinci Lily, which is uh, the mini-me version we get after certain events at the end of- at the beginning of the Lost Belt stuff. Um, so she had something that kind of sets that up. At least that has always been my understanding. I don't know because I don't have her. 
I kind of hope that eventually they maybe do something where her interlude becomes available, which is something that they've been doing in Japan more of, they're experimenting with it, which is giving people access to interludes that they don't have the unit for. If I had a choice, I would gladly do it for her, her because it sounds like an extremely interesting story, but regardless of that, all these characters have their fans. Gil has his fans, Musashi has his fans, Kitoki has his fans, Brunhilde has... Brunhilde have fans? She was a meme for a very long time, which is pretty funny. She used to be one of the poster child for never releasing a limited unit. I think she went two years without um, uh, a banner release. <laughs> I think it was when Nerofest showed up, and she was a huge meme on the JP side for a very long time because she showed up like once, and that's it. Uh, Skathash, obviously. Skahawk has her fans. Gene, Al Gene Alter has her obvious fans, Da Vinci Ishtar, you don't need me to tell you that, so if you're someone definitely going for one of these units, I mean, you're going to risk it all for here. I could tell you a million times that you should be saving for Castoria, but if I'm being 100% real with you, if any one of these is your favorites and you see them on raid up, you're going to summon. It's the same reason I don't log into the game whenever Quetz has a raid up banner up, because I always waste summons if I do. Um, I always log in for my ticket, and then I quickly log off, because I know myself, and I know that's the best way to avoid summoning. But anyway, that should be coming hopefully at the end of, uh, this current campaign. And then after that, funny enough, some things are a little bit wacky. Uh, chances are we will get the final Hinoji NG, uh, rerun <laughs> at the end of April. And, uh, beginning into May, we should get... Uh, like in the halfway point? Yeah, as soon as this ends, we'll get the startup for the Fate Requiem collab. And then from there, I think it's not that much like... Yeah, it, it gets a little bit funky. Because like I said, 2022, um, some big stuff happens in 2022. <laughs> that kind of screws up all forms of scheduling. Um, and I'm going to be very interested to see how um, they handle it. Because like I said... At some point in 2022, COVID hits, and that completely screws up whatever uh, plans Fugo had. Because it screwed up the plans of absolutely everyone. It, the only uh, people who didn't really have things screwed up that badly were, I think, Dragalia and the North American side of Fugo, because they were running on two-year-old events, so they didn't really suffer a big hit due to the COVID. Because um, they were just porting over old stuff. But now we're going to get to the point where they're going to have to start porting over stuff that is like, yeah, just really, the, though funny enough, October looks packed based off of just this, but um, there are definitely going to be some dry, dry days coming up, and especially in 2021 and stuff like that. Like, for example, over here, which funny enough, I don't actually think they delayed Castoria due to COVID. I'm sure it didn't help. Um, the other big reason is that, um, Nasu was not done with writing the story at any point, so they had to delay it for basically an entire year. So this unit that is supposed to be, which is Castoria, who is supposed to be a big deal in the upcoming Lost Belt, took a full year to basically <laughs> actually release the Lost Belt that was relevant to her. Um, though I think, again, that's more due to the, the writing style of Nasu more than anything else, but I digress. So yeah, that's kind of how like April's looking up to me. It's a relatively kind of... Oh, everyone knows what the big thing is, right? You don't even need me to tell you that to be 100% real with you. We all know it's this. This is the big thing. The 17 million download is we're going to have it is going to be the huge thing that basically everyone's been waiting for because you just get a free SSR. And those are so hard to come by in Fate that any idea of a free SSR still rings extremely crazy to me. <laughs> and it's been years and they've done one other ticket that is better than this one that we will get later in the future. Though funny enough, it did come at the cost of us not getting the f four ticket anymore. Um, which is a shame because they started releasing really cool four units <laughs> that are very hard to get now. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I digress. So, that's the end of the video. Just kind of wanted to talk about it, set some stuff up. I need to still finish freaking Atlantis because I think I have like a week before those 10 quarts go away and I really need to get going and actually finish it. I've just been so busy with, uh, one, working, and two, Elden Ring. But now that I finish Elden Ring, I'm free to do whatever. 
So I have my freedom once again. I'll just remember this time not to just immediately start up um, another big game, maybe. Who knows? But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. Peace out. Bye-bye.